Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a message on one of my videos where I used to make a flame with some text. And they were questioning how you could get the flame all the way through the text. Well, I a lot of times people don't respond to the uh, YouTube comments, so I don't know if he'll even ever get it. And I don't know if he's an engraving or an engraver or a sublimator. So you can do something like this with the gradient tool and this is probably the simplest. You just uh, go to DA Fonts and get you a flame text. And I've got a couple of videos on that. And you see, right, well, I've already filled that one in. But it's a text just much like these are. It's just flames by Mario or something. And, and they're not, this isn't the best flames out there because they're a little jagged. But let's say I want that one right there, so I'm gonna control K, break the text apart, and grab that one. And then just, we'll get rid of the rest of them. And if you like that one, you really want a sharp, kind of a sharp edge to put on your flame and your text. So I'm gonna left click, right click, and I'm gonna bring the two point line down, I'm gonna move it down, hit the control button to make it perpendicular. Then I'm gonna use a smart fill tool now it's no longer a shape, it's, it's an object, or it's no longer a text, it's an object. But it's rough, so I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit. If you have X7 or above, you have the smoothing tool, and just select it, and the, the smoothing tool is the, one of the most beneficial tools Corel's come out with in years, that I, in my opinion, because in just this little bit of time, um, you could smooth it up quite a bit. I don't really have to do this for this video, but I want the flames to look pretty good. Now I'm gonna flip this thing around because most text is gonna be like that, so we would just take this. Now if you're a engraver and you wanted to do something like that, uh, there's several ways to do that. So the text will show out, but we're gonna use the, a text called impact and change it to impact. And then I'm just gonna kinda of bring my flame over and see if it's about the right side. And really you need to start just at the back of that A or E. But if you do that, you can't really read the text. So if you'll take the text and go to effects and contour, we're gonna contour just to the outside just a little bit. I actually need to make it left click, right click, and then contour it. So you get a contour line. And what that's going to enable us to be able to see the, you know what, I'm going to do a little bit less. I'm going to do 0 0.05. I just want a little bit of a line. That'll work. Now we need to go to object, break contour apart. That's not really that big a deal, but we're going to turn the text into black. And we're actually going to nudge it up and we're going to turn this white. Now in engraver, you wouldn't want to do that, but if you're using RGB white, it won't engrave. So now we're gonna bring back our item and now we've got a white background. Now we can bring in our, our flame and you still see, you can't see the text, but if we go to object and go to order and back a page, then you can read your text because the white outline and you could still then uh, change your make your uh, flame a little thicker. You know, I'd suggest making it so it really kind of stands out. Since you've got that white background, it's not gonna show up and you can even elongate it. That would be one way. Um, looks pretty cool. You would want to left click or right click no outline so you won't get that hairline in case you have any cutting to do on anywhere on the item. So I'm hoping that's what he wanted to do. If you're a sublimator, I might make a second video on how to do this. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.